just love to go out and look up that house and uh, see it and know when that wind blows this year that it's not going to get us. Find out if you qualify for free weatherization assistance from New York State. Call my office at this toll-free number. I'm Gail Schaefer, New York Secretary of State. Do you remember playing on New York City streets? Can you remember Johnny on the Pony, Ringolivio? Were your days spent swimming in the East River or playing in the Coney Island Funhouse? Queens Council on the Arts is planning an exhibit all about play in New York. To share your memories with us, call 291-1100. Hi, I'm Tennessee Ernie Ford, visiting one of the Salvation Army's fine modern centers. Items you are no longer using are needed for work therapy, then are sold in thrift stores to keep the good work going. Please call for the Salvation Army Red Shield Truck. Thank you, and bless your little pea-picking heart. Joel Siegel's Oscar Show tonight at 7. Some years ago, a minister friend of mine, pastor of a large congregation, was in the midst of one of his sermons when a little boy left his pew, walked down the aisle, stood right in front of him and said as loudly as possible, ah, shut up. <laughs> the minister, God bless him, began to smile, chuckled, and then broke into laughter. The congregation, in relief, broke into uncontrolled laughter, too. The minister came down from the pulpit, picked up the little boy, kissed him, and returned him to his parents. A lot of humorous things happened concerning our faith. We ministers are responsible for many of them. And the humor is too precious not to be heartily enjoyed. Too often, however, something tragic happens. It's like telling someone a hilarious story and not having them even crack a smile. Some Christians are so uptight about anything relating to the faith that any humor, especially satire, is frowned upon or forbidden. I've been smiling, chuckling, laughing more and more in recent years because I've discovered just how much humor occurs in the life of the church, in life around me, and how much amusement I am to others. I trust that it will not take too long for you today to experience your first smile, chuckle, or laugh. station WABC TV New York Channel 7 key station in the ABC television network WABC TV studios are located at the ABC Television Center 7 Lincoln Square New York programs are transmitted from the top of the World Trade Center in Manhattan with a frequency of 174 to 180 megahertz WABC TV operates on channel 7 by authority of the Federal Communications Commission now speaking for the entire staff this is Wally Parker wishing you a pleasant good night and inviting you to join us this morning at 6.55 for more outstanding entertainment on Channel 7. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. 